In this video, you're going to learn how to cancel an envelope as the sender of the envelope. Okay, so in this demo, I'm going to show you how you can cancel your envelopes, which is also called voiding envelopes in DocuSign's lingo, and why you should cancel them, and the implications of doing so, and what to do when you want to resend an envelope that you've just sent. You need to know that once you void your envelopes, it's irreversible. You can't unvoid the envelope. You can't do anything to reactivate the transaction you've just voided. You will have to send a new envelope. And because of that, you want to think about the reason you want to void your envelope first to see whether that's the best option. So, for example, if you just want to change the email address or name uh, of one of the recipients, you can just do this by correcting the envelope. And so the way you would do this is you'll just go to your manage tab and go to your sent items. And then from there, you'll just look at an envelope that hasn't been uh, completed yet. So let's just say this one, for example, if I want to change the name or email of the second recipient, I can just click on correct. And from here, I'll be able to change the name and email of my recipients. If um, you want to learn more about how to correct the envelopes, you can check out my other tutorial on how to correct envelopes by clicking on the link that appears on the, um, on the screen right now. But for this tutorial, we want to learn how to void the envelopes. And if you're new to DocuSign and don't know where to start, I recommend that you download my DocuSign Mastery Cheat Sheet to help you navigate the template creation process and understand what field you need to use on your documents. It's totally free and it helped a lot of my students. So I want you to have it. You can click on the link in the description of this video to download it now. So now let's just say that we want to void this particular envelope here. So this envelope was sent to uh, two people. You can see there's two names, although it's my name twice, but that just means that there are two people. Actually, if I click on it, it might be easier. So we've got the first person signing here and then the second recipient signing here. So the first recipient has already um, signed the document, which means that we can't correct any of the information that person has entered. It's too late. If we realize that that person's made a mistake, for example, we need to void the envelope. And so the way you do this is by just clicking on more and then void the envelope. You can also do it um, from this um, sent view by clicking on the drop down and void. It's exactly the same. Here you just need to enter an, uh, a reason. So just enter what, where, why you want to void your envelope. And what will happen is that your recipient will receive a notification from DocuSign telling them that the envelope was voided and showing them the reason why you've um, voided the envelope. Now, if you remember the workflow of this envelope, there were two signers, signer one and signer two. Signer one obviously received this because they had already signed the document, so they need to know that the envelope was voided. And signer two also received a notification telling them the same, even though they haven't signed yet, but they had already received the email notification inviting them to sign because it was their turn to sign. But if the envelope had been voided before um, the first signer had signed the envelope, then the second signer wouldn't have received a notification telling them that the envelope was voided because at the time the envelope was voided, they hadn't received a notification inviting them to sign in the first place. So should the first recipient click on the link that they've received initially to sign the envelope in the first place, this is what they would see. They would see a um, the document that they've completed with a, a void watermark here. And don't pay attention to the demo watermark. That one is actually present on the document itself. Um, and this has nothing to do with uh, voiding. And if you're looking for a partner to assist your business with your DocuSign implementation, you can find the link in the description of this video to book a strategy call with one of our specialists. We'll see you then. Now, sometimes just right at the back of voiding your envelopes, you'll want to resend them. And so this would happen in um, situations where your recipients have filled out a document with information and you realize that they've made a mistake after they've signed and it's too late, you can't ask them to change the information. So when this happens, what you wanna do is you wanna copy the envelope that was just sent, uh, that was just received uh, from your recipient and you want to resend it to your recipients for them to uh, sign, it, sign it again. But instead of sending them a brand new envelope that doesn't contain any data, what you can do is you can copy the envelope that was just received and copy all the, the entries that they had already provided you with and just maybe remove the entry that was entered incorrectly or even just change the entry that was entered incorrectly. 
So if we take the example of this document here, let's just say that um, your recipient had um, entered the amount subscribed incorrectly. So this is an additional subscription document that investors will need to fill out to um, invest more money in uh, certain funds. So let's just say that the minimum amount was meant to be, I don't know, um, 5 million and they've only entered 1 million. So what you want to do is you want to resend this envelope so that they don't have to fill it out again from scratch and pre-fill the information uh, that's correct. And that may be an overly simplistic document because there aren't a lot of fields for that. So it wouldn't actually take that much time for investors to fill out this document again from scratch. But if you think of a document that's much more complex with maybe 200 fields, I don't know, you wouldn't want your signers to go through this painful signing, the painful process of having to fill out the document from scratch again. So now let's just see how to send this again in DocuSign while keeping the data that's already present in the envelope. So back to your um, manage um, tab, what you want to do is you want to locate the envelope you want to resend and then click on more and copy with field data. And if you don't see the copy with field data option, you need to go to your sending settings in your admin settings in DocuSign and enable the option called envelope copy with field data. Now you can see that the name of the recipient and the email is already here and that's because we're just basically duplicating the envelope and you can see that the amount entered by the investor is still here so what we want to do is we want to either maybe i don't know just remove that and let them enter it again or we can just enter the actual amount that we expect them to enter um, to subscribe to the fund and so you could do that you could even just make it read only so that the only thing that they can do now is just sign this is completely up to you. And again, this is an overly simplistic um, example because um, there's only a, it's only a two-page document and investors don't have much to do on this document. But um, if you have a complex document, it is great um, because you've got the ability to fix whatever needs to be fixed and your investors don't need, I mean, your recipients don't need to do much. If you are starting with DocuSign and want to learn a bit about envelopes, fields and templates, how they work, you can access my free DocuSign crash course following the link in the description of this video. I hope this video was helpful. I upload weekly content on DocuSign and electronic signature in general. If you want to be notified the next time I upload one, make sure to hit subscribe and also check out my other tutorials. I will see you in the next one. Ciao.